What's up guys, Salam Mike. Today I wanna to talk about shoes, proper shoes to lift with, and then some of the newer pairs that I've been deadlifting in um, that I got a lot of questions about, the Reebok boxing shoe. Hopefully you guys find this helpful, uh, choosing your footwear to lift weights in and to be stylish. Uh, I am an ex sneakerhead. I do like a lot of sneakers. I am endorsed by Reebok. Uh, I am a sponsored athlete by them. I'm lucky boy uh, because I love shoes. Uh, hopefully you're not too distracted by my man DJ Khaled on my shirt. He's just gonna be uh, filling in collaboration video. We the best. So to start with, I guess, CrossFit Light TR. This was a fairly common shoe. Uh, Smelly helped, Mr. Mark Bell helped consult on these with Reebok. Uh, there's something I've pulled in for a very long time. Typically when you're deadlifting, um, you want to wear a very flat shoe. Uh, when you're pulling conventional, uh, I think it becomes less important, this type of shoe. You just need a flat and beyond that, you can kind of pull pretty good in any shoe. So um, I pull sumo and conventional, I go both ways. Uh, and this shoe served me uh, very well. I love the grip on the bottom. The ankle support feels really good when you're pulling sumo. The only issue I would say is that it is a fairly wide. Uh, and although I do have a wide foot, when I'm pulling sumo uh, and I'm not running, I'm not jumping, I'm not playing a sport, I need the shoe to fit uh, fairly tight so then there's no wiggle room. I want the shoe to become my foot. When I'm playing basketball or something, you also want a tighter shoe, but uh, if it's too tight, you know, you may have some rub and, and, and get some blisters and things like that in basketball uh, and the fit may be even more important. Um, but being a little wide here, I have some wiggle on my toes and in this forefoot, and when you're trying to crank down and pull sumo or even squat your foot and I'd have some wiggle, uh, it wasn't perfect to be honest. But the grip, awesome. Uh, the only main issue then with the shoe is that as of right now, it is uh, discontinued as far as I know, so they're hard to get a hold of. You might be able to do Amazon or something. Uh, this is one of my favorite colorways that they came out with. Um, it's a ladies colorway. So I went on, you know, a size or two up. Uh, it's a ladies 12 and uh, wore these for a long time. Still wear them here and there, love them. One of my actual uh, favorite shoes, uh, it's a Kendrick Lamar uh, collaboration, Club C. And I basically just brought this one because I like it and I love how it looks. Uh, two just to show that something like this, you could probably squat in okay, uh, and you could probably pull conventional in just fine. Um, because it's flat-ish, you guys can kind of see, um, that's all you really need with a conventional shoe. A lot of people use different skateboard shoes or other brand shoes that are fairly inexpensive, and that works well. Uh, and for many, it can work well in the squat also. The, the only thing is, I guess, personal preference with whether you like some ankle support. I personally do like a little bit of ankle support. Um, and then number two would be grip, I guess, if you're really twerking on that thing um, for the sumo or, or a, a slightly wider stance squat. Already did a video on this. You guys can refer back to that. This is the Reebok Legacy. This is their uh, top level weightlifting shoe. Um, when you're squatting, if you should use a heel, if you should not, mostly depends on kind of ankle uh, mobility and how you hit depth. If you hit depth fine with one of these, often you don't need one of these. Uh, it does change your lifting mechanics slightly. Um, it's a little bit more trial and error what you need. So I'd probably start with the flat shoe uh, and then if you find some issues, maybe experiment with these and see how you like them. Uh, I've been squatting in a heeled shoe for some years now uh, and I can uh, honestly say this is probably my favorite shoe. As I mentioned before, it's, it's really solid, uh, it's heavy um, and it's very comfortable for me. Uh, I, use, I use these straps a lot. I don't tie them down that much. Uh, and I love to squat in them. Pulling in them, maybe not optimal. Some people do get away with a conventional pull in a heel. I don't recommend it for a sumo pull. Um, and I don't typically recommend it for a conventional pull either. Um, I think it'll be a very rare case that somebody needs a heel. Basically it's just lifting your heel up so then your hips um, can break your knee, uh, which is parallel, a little bit easier. Uh, very comfortable shoe, a little pricey, but in my opinion, worth it. Now, what you guys have been waiting for? Probably my favorite looking shoe uh, out right now. This is uh, Reebok's top uh, boxing shoe. I think they have two different levels. Uh, this one's a little more expensive because of uh, the leather, I believe, and the limited colorway. This one uh, might be closer to $200, where they do have a more affordable one that's under 100, I believe. Don't know anything about boxing, but I like the look of this shoe, and I know a boxing or wrestling shoe are fairly flat, so um, I got them to try them out. And as you see, they are fairly flat. The grip is pretty good as well. So I've been pulling sumo in these. The only complaint, uh, slight complaint I do have that makes them not optimal for a sumo pull. I do think they would great, work great for any squat or any conventional pull, uh, to be honest. But when you're really trying to push on the outside of your foot and screw that foot in, uh, the lip here uh, is just a little bit jagged. So sometimes uh, I feel just slightly unstable in the toe box. 
Uh, but again, these are made for boxing. They're not made for sumo deadlifting. Um, I love how they look. I love the ankle support. They fit very tight. They fit like a glove. Um, so I don't even tie them. Uh, I strap them up sometimes, but don't even do that. Pulling conventional. Uh, I've done some box jumps. I've done some different things in this, some lunges. All that feels great. Um, conventional stiff leg. Uh, squats, you kind of name it, feels really, really good. Uh, it's just the sumo, and this is just me being picky. I've still pulled um, multiple PRs in this thing, uh, rep PRs. It's just that it feels a little uh, unbalanced here on the edge because you're pushing out on this edge and it has a sharp sole. Uh, probably just because boxers are sitting on their toes the whole time. I don't know, I don't box, uh, but I can't complain. Squats, conventional, weight, uh, you know, five stars. Sumo, maybe four stars, four and a half. Uh, there's all these other options if you guys want to check it out uh, and you want to support me. I always have the link in the description for all my favorite Reebok gear. Uh, they do endorse me, as I said, and it does give me a little kickback if you ever want to support the channel. New uh, video schedule. We're going to be releasing a video every other day uh, to keep your ADD going. So uh, be sure to subscribe. Turn on the notifications because I'm still hearing that people aren't getting the videos in their sub box. So if you turn on the notifications, it should be down here, the little bell. Uh, you won't miss a video. I do appreciate all the support lately, guys. Silent Mike, I'm out of here.